Hey there, YouTube. What do you think about music? All right, so music for me is clearly something that affects my life very strongly. I feel that music is, although it's a one-way communication, music is typically written in such a way that it can appeal emotionally to a larger audience. So just because you don't know exactly what a lyricist is writing about or a singer is singing about, when they belt out those that tune or they play that song on the radio, it can speak to you emotionally and can be very personal in the way you receive it. The reason this is beneficial is because it can spark a conversation within yourself regardless of the standpoint of the speaker. The reason I find this so, so beneficial for society is, for instance, while I was serving in Iraq, there were a couple of people that worked on the base that were from India, and they had brought with them some of their own music, and of course I had brought with me some of my music, and the cultural relevance to me, my music, and the cultural relevance to them for their music, I'm sure was very different if we exchange. However, we did exchange music. I found that I really enjoyed a lot of their music. They had a significant portion in their library that was in Arabic, as well as uh, some local music that they had from India. and. When we exchanged music, we were able to bond on a level that was more significant in many ways than would have otherwise been possible due to some of our language barriers. We exchanged music for quite a while, which of course, before anyone gets too upset, was very legal in Iraq, but also, you know, we exchanged hard copies. So if they made a copy of something that's on them, not on me, um, but you know, we, we exchanged music, we listened to one another's music, and then we met back up afterward, exchanged back, and spoke about what we liked and disliked, and what our thoughts were about different music and different topics. And that led into some, not really political discussions, because in a war-torn country, that's not exactly something I would advise anybody to do. And it's not a standpoint that I hold at work. I don't really discuss you know, these key issues, politics, religion, and such. However, we discussed a lot of news and politics from their country, and I just let them speak. I didn't hold an opinion. I don't know much about the political structure in India, and I don't hold, you know, a very valid opinion one way or the other about any of their political affiliations. So I just let them talk, and I listened. And I, while I did not discuss my political stances or anything like that, it was very interesting. They used to bring in the newspaper that was written in their local language and they would read it to me and translate it into English so that I could follow along with what was going on. Uh, the royal family was getting ready to celebrate a wedding, which was kind of neat, but the key point of this is that music opened a dialogue between us that had a very profound impact on where our conversation was heading and let us close a gap that would have otherwise been very vast. We discussed, you know, some more neutral terms. We talked about our families and what we do when we're at home versus what we're doing now. Uh, one of the guys ran a Bible store and the other one worked in an air conditioning repair shop and they were both working for a, red, a rather large American company that was outsourcing labor from India so that you know they could earn in one year working for this contractor what they would earn otherwise in India in five or ten years even. And this would set them up for success so that they could expand their business or so that they could work out a way to live for a longer, better life under their economic structure. Now. You know, my, my conversation here is really about how music bridged this gap that allowed me to explore further 
about these people's lives and how much deeper and more meaningful our conversations became, or became. They started teaching me some of their native language. They started to, you know, really look at me for advice on some of their life and some of their choices and some of the ways they should handle things regarding their American employers. A very productive conversation that we had for several months after that. And the relationships that we formed became very close and it all started by sharing music, by sharing something that can speak across a gap that otherwise could not have been closed. I feel like music speaks to someone's soul rather than to their just mind. Or it speaks to someone's emotions, if you prefer that term, and develops internally in a way that an external voice cannot necessarily manifest. I personally love music. If I did hold a religion, it would be one of music. I feel like music unites so many people throughout the world, so many different cultures. It develops its own cultural identity. So much of humanity throughout the ages, so much of their culture has been shaped by music. You know, you can listen to music from specific regions and know some of the history of that region. You can hear their culture in sound. It is just amazing to me. It's incredible. And if you haven't already listened to some international music, I encourage you, now that we live in the world of everything is digitally available at your fingertips, go out and explore some music from India. Explore some music from Iraq. Explore some music from Russia or from Sweden or you know, maybe from South America or Africa and develop your tastes and recognize it for what it is. It's an expression of someone's culture. How impactful is that in your life and how amazing can that be? Look, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.